tomorrow, I would like to ask you to join me. I don't have any details yet of where we will be, where we will gather. I hope to be somewhere close to the church. But I believe, and I read this story, my heart broke and my heart was lifted up at the same time. Where there is great darkness and evil, there is also great light. This church behaved so amazing last night. They gathered together and prayed, and when I heard their prayers, I knew where we needed to be. I'm perplexed, but I'm not in despair today. I really believe that Charleston is going to show the rest of us an Amish moment. Do you remember, do you remember when uh, the shooter came into that Amish community and opened fire and killed all of their children in, in a schoolhouse? Do you remember what the Amish did? The Amish immediately forgave him, forgave his family, and reached out to the family they gave some of the funds that were raised for the families to his family and begged him, I'm sorry, begged them, the shooter's family, not to move away, to please stay in our community. That's what Christians are supposed to do. And I think the Amish are one of the few that have it. But I have a feeling that Charleston is going to show us that Christian moment. They're going to show us that Amish moment. I don't know why, but this isn't Ferguson. I don't know why, but this isn't Baltimore. This is a place where the slave trade happened. This is a place, I have a dog tag from Charleston, South Carolina. As part of our history collection, I have an actual dog tag, but it's not for a dog, it's for a human being. This is a place that was the heart of darkness at one point, it's not anymore. They're not those people. And I refuse to be dragged back into the 1960s or the 1860s. The 18 and 1960s are long gone. Now, I don't know why this shooter shot people. He might shoot people because he's a racist. He might have shot people because he's an anarchist. He might have shot people because he hates Christians. I don't know why he shot people. But either way, whether it was because of race or because he was anti-Christian or he just wants to stir up trouble, it's evil. Chaos is evil. There is persecution, but we're not forsaken. We may feel cast down, but we're not destroyed. It's time we take our light and stop hiding it. Stop being afraid of it. Why were you born? I, I think I'm just figuring out why I was born. Why were you born? There's a reason all of us are here, and it's not to watch TV. It's not to work. It's not to... It's not just to... Uh, uh, gather more stuff. It's not to go on vacation and have fun. It's not to climb the corporate ladder. It's none of those things. We were born so miracles could happen through us. I really truly believe we were born so we could, we could show the power of God. That he would be working through us. Right now, we're... We either don't have any light, or it's so dim in all of us, it's just in, it's just in tradition. 
You go to church just because, well, I don't know, my parents went there. That's why people are leaving our churches, because that's not enough. Who cares? Who cares about tradition like that? Who wants to go for that reason? <laughs> like Donald Trump said yesterday, I, oh, I'm, uh, no, I'm very Christian. I go to church definitely on Easter and Christmas. You know why? Because you don't get anything out of it. Because nobody's putting it into action. It's all a bunch of words. Why were you born? I think God raised us up that he could show his power in us and that we might declare his name. I know I'm getting all preachy or religious, but our country has no choice. We can either look to the look to man, and I'll tell you who's I'll tell you who's gonna be there. Al Sharpton's gonna be there. He's on a plane right now. He'll be landing and he'll be at a prayer vigil today at noon. And do you think he's going to say, let's all come together? Do you think the people that went into political mode last night when they first heard about this shooting, do you think they're going to bring us together? Or do you think they're going to use this community to drive a wedge? Let's hold the arms up of this community and let them show us how to heal.